What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick Vegas tutorial and this is going to be in Vegas Pro 16 and I'm going to show you how to change the pitch of your voice. You can either make it sound high pitched like this or you can make it sound low pitched like this. Pretty easy to do but there are a few things you need to change to make sure you get the best possible sound. Okay so let's open up Vegas and once you have it open we're going to go ahead and drag in a clip of you speaking or some audio that you want to change. Here's the one we're going to use. Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial for you. That one you heard my normal voice and it didn't sound any different and I'm going to show you how to change it real fast. It's pretty easy. All you do is right click on the audio track and then you go to audio event effects and then there is a pitch shift option here in the audio effects. Hit add, hit OK. Once you do that, it'll bring up this window. Now this window has a lot of options right here. And what this does, it just changes your pitch to what you want. You can match it musically, you can change it up chords, and you can get very detailed and very specific of what you want your voice to sound. You'd be like, I want my voice to sound like an F sharp or something along those lines, or I want it to go down about two octaves. You could do that with pitch shift. But I've done a lot of testing. I found that the best settings are actually going to be the ones I've saved right here, which I'm going to show you. So they're called up a notch and down a notch. Let's go with down a notch. So it goes down three semitones, and then the sense to shift by is up about 18.6, accuracy is at high, preserve duration is on, and the mode I used is speech one. Down here at the bottom it tells you the musical equivalent is down minor third plus, and the transposition ratio is 0.849998. So a lot of this stuff really doesn't pertain to what we're doing. This whole setting pertains to if you want to edit some audio very carefully. Let's just say you have a singer and they're singing in a music video or they're you're composing an audio track and the singer's pitch is just a hair off. You can correct that with this like real minute changes. But for something as broad as what we're doing is just changing the voice. You don't really need to go in too much details on this one. But what I found though is that these settings right here are pretty much the prime time for lowering your voice. And this is what it'll sound like. Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial for you. Pretty weird and pretty low, but the whole point of these settings is you don't want to go too far. So the lower you go to the left, the deeper your voice is going to go. And the more you go to the right, the higher it's going to go. But be warned that the further you go left, the more your voice isn't going to match your mouth exactly. Because when you stretch and squeeze audio, you're not stretching or squeezing the video with it. So it's having to manipulate itself to still line up the same length of that video track. So you're either going to experience some echoness or some robotic sounds or something like that. So it's better to keep this number over here to roughly about negative three as far as you want to go. But when you're going to change your pitch to a higher pitch, I found that two is the best. Anything beyond that, you're gonna start experiencing some echo and some glitchiness. And so it starts sounding pretty bad once you get past two. So let me explain these settings. Up a notch that I saved is semitones is at two, sense to shift pitch by is at negative 19.3, and accuracy is all the way at three. Preserve duration is here. And then you can apply the anti-alias filter, which anti-aliasing in videos and video games usually means smoother edges. So smoother edges also applies to the audio as well. So make sure apply anti-alias is on and just to be safe, down a notch. And the reason this wasn't checked in down a notch is that anything from zero below doesn't even allow you to apply anti-aliasing. So let's go back to up a notch. And for the mode, you have a bunch of different things here because again, this is meant for music, but it also has a few speech options in here. I tested all of these and I'm not going to go through them all with you because it took a long time, but the best one that I found for voice is speech one. So I know these numbers look a little bit random, but they're actually specific so I can get my transposition ratio as close as possible to 1.11. And for down a notch, as close to 0.85 as I can. I didn't want to go beyond the thresholds of low and high for those specific ones, so these two are the best ones I've found. So let me show you what up a notch sounds like. Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial for you. Josh here Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial for you. Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial for you. Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial for you. 
So there you go. If you match those settings and you like what you hear, you can raise and lower your pitch very easily and still have it match your mouth and do the best not to create any kind of echoing at all. So that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that tutorial. If that helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that'll help me out, and that'll let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, if you want, you can check out my Patreon. The more patrons I have, the more frequent I can do my giveaways, and the better the prizes will be. I also sell shirts and stuff on Amazon and TeePublic, so all the links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.